Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing? Man, it's here. Hey, what's going on, everyone? How we doing? Matt Antonelli here. Today, we're talking about one of our core principles, and it's the upper body working back. Really, really important for hitters. Misunderstood by a lot of hitters and coaches and parents, and so I want to spend some time here to talk about it. So I'll start with this. When I talk to hitters about this core principle, I start off by talking about an elastic. I say, if I give you an elastic, and I say, we're going to have a contest, Who can shoot this elastic the fastest and the furthest? How would you do it? Well, you would take the elastic. You'd put your thumb in the front of the elastic. You would take your index finger and thumb from your other hand and put it at the other end of the elastic. Now, you would pull back with this finger and thumb. And you'd push forward with this thumb. And so you'd stretch the two points of the band away from each other. When you did that, you would create stretch in that band. right? And so you would store energy in it. Now, when you wanted to shoot it, you would just lift this finger and thumb, and the band would shoot instantly, very fast and very far. This would be the best way to shoot the elastic. And so the same type of thing happens with your swing. When your leg turns this way, your upper body has to go in the opposite direction. Now, so does your barrel, but that's for another video, and we've talked about that in the past. And so your leg starts to go this way, starts to pull here, and your upper body goes this way, and now they're going in opposite directions, and now you create that same type of stretch. Some people call it separation or torque, right? They're going in opposite directions. And so now your barrel is able to whip into the zone. It's able to enter the zone deep, get behind the ball. All really good things. And so this is really key to creating bat speed, but then also creating a proper path. And if you haven't seen our other videos on path, definitely go and check those out. Okay, so how do we do this? Well, we take our upper body, and when my leg turns, I want to think that I'm going to make a north-south move with my upper body. Now, I see all kinds of hitters, and here are the, the things that I see hitters do incorrectly. The first thing I see is their leg will turn, and their upper body wants to go forward in the same direction of their leg. Well, that's not good because now I'm going in the same direction. I'm not going to create that stretch or separation or torque. I'm going to start to push my barrel forward. I'm not going to create a bad path. I'm not going to be behind the ball. All those things. The second thing I see, this is the most common thing. I see a hard pull with the upper body. So the, the left shoulder just wants to pull hard to the left. And when the upper body pulls hard to the left and gets really rotational, the barrel gets out and away from the body, and then it cuts across the zone. These are hitters that everyone's screaming from the stands, hey, stay on the ball, stop pulling your head off the ball, stay on the ball, stop pulling off the ball. Right? You hear that all the time. And so those, these hitters will roll, they'll get around the ball, a lot of rollovers, a lot of hook spin, a lot of foul balls down the left field line, may even hit some balls hard, but you know can't keep it fair, swings a little bit longer, a little bit slower. Right? It's from the outside in instead of from the inside out. And so neither of these are going to be helpful to hitters. And so what you need to do instead is you need to feel your upper body going back. That's how you stay on the ball. That's how you stay from the inside. Your shoulder just, you know, you can't just lock your shoulder in place and not move it anywhere. People say, keep that front shoulder on the ball. I can't just keep it right here. It's got to go someplace. And again, it can't go forward and it can't go to the left. So it has to go back. And so this is the move you're going to see really lead hitters make. Again, it's more north, south. You're going to see the rear shoulder work under. This position right here, one of the most misunderstood positions for me. That position, rear shoulder working under lead shoulder. You take a still picture of all these great hitters. If I just took this picture right here and showed people, they say, oh, she's out. Oh, can't hit like that. All the best hitters I see when I stop it at this point of the swing, this is what they look like. The rear shoulder is coming under the lead shoulder. It has to happen. If you don't, if you fight to keep your rear shoulder up here, you're going to come over the top and you're going to roll over the ball. You're going to be from the outside. You're going to have a slow swing. You're not going to have a good path. You're going to swing down through the ball. A bunch of things are going to happen. right? And so this is really important. You should see in a really good hitter, when the leg turns, you should see the upper body getting again back behind this leg. Behind the leg. Really, really important. The misconception, again, is that this is like a home run swing. This isn't just a home run swing. This is just the way to be able to get the barrel of the bat 
to be slightly up through the hitting zone and from the inside. That doesn't mean you're going to just hit home runs. It means you're going to hit a lot of line drives, and line drives are good. Line drives with carry are good, right? It means you're going to cover the entire hitting zone because you're going to be from the inside. Covering the hitting zone is good. Do you want to be able to drive the ball away, drive the ball the middle, uh, drive the ball in the middle, drive the ball that's in? Yeah, that's good. I don't want to only be able to hit the ball on the inside corner because my barrel's getting out away from me. So all really, really important stuff. This is not just power hitter stuff. This is just being a good, consistent hitter. If you want to be a consistent hitter, you've got to have a good path. If you want to have a good path, you've got to be able to use the proper mechanics to do so. And this is one of them. Again, just one of our core principles that we talk about. So hopefully this helps you out. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. Give it a thumbs up. All that good stuff. And we'll talk to you later. If you've enjoyed this video and want to learn more about building the elite swing, check out our new course. We have over two hours of content, almost 30 hitting drills. We break down the exact mechanics that you're going to want to implement into your swing. I've put the link in the description if you want to go check it out.